why I freaking love Maxthon. I had an email asking uh, what I'm using to record the, sc the screencasts with. Um, well, my browser of choice is Maxthon. I, uh, I have Internet Explorer and Firefox, which both have the uses, but for particular day-to-day -day tasks that I perform, Maxthon is definitely the choice for me. And I will show you why, and I'll show you why through how I'm using it. Um, I'll start off with this screen. I think we're all familiar now that when we close down Internet Explorer or Firefox, we're asked if we want to uh, reopen the groups when we uh, relaunch the application later. But instead of opening up all the pages and waiting for them to download, etc., Maxthon does it differently and presents you with a list like this, which I think is uh, is is better because you can keep that this list uh, for as long as you you need and sometimes when you've got several tabs open and you can't get through them all because you're interrupted or whatever you might not even have a chance to to review them the next day so you can keep them there uh, which i find extremely useful uh, moving on now in the sidebar here which i mouse over will open there you go i can got my twitter feed there coming through actually i can see perform uh, advanced google searches these are the things that you can, additional add-ons you can download there's my web development doofa. Got delicious there. Got Google Calendar, which I'm not allowing you to see. And there's my RSS feed. Now, how I'm using this? Well, I, to give you an example, I perform, I do a, a bit of volunteering for the Oil Depletion Analysis Center, ODAC. And what I do there is basically just monitor the news and submit any articles which are relevant to the oil, the oil industry. And one of the websites I use, well, in fact, most the, the main one I'm using to monitor is the Telegraph and. So each day I'll come to the RSS feed, look, see what articles are in there. And then, oh yeah, let me just see. You'll see a green squiggle now as I switch pages. That was in fact what uh, prompted the person to, to email me. That's mouse gestures, basically. Uh, it's just a bit of a time saver. So I can scroll down or shove it up <laughs> and go left and go right and do, if I was on there, uh, I can go to the previous web page as well if I'd moved forward or back in the chain which are, is not apt here. So, okay, I'm, I'm interested in submitting this article here. Now, I'll go to my Groups tab, because I can save all tabs into a specific group. Now, that's my ODAC one. If I look inside there, I can see I've got two web pages, which I can either select individually or just merely click on the actual thing, Group tab there, and have both pages open automatically, which can be useful. For the purposes of this demonstration though, I'm just going to show you how I use it to submit an article. Now it can be a bit of a pain, as you can see, to switch between tabs, copying and pasting the relevant information. But with this, I go to a new reader tab there, and BOOM! Got two tabs open in a split screen. So, let's just show how I'll use it there. No copy and pasting required here, kidder. Oh, come on. Just drag it over into the next screen there, and boom! Titles in, no copying and pasting. Another feature I'm using here is Magic Fill. Um, every time I open this particular page, in this particular page only, it will automatically insert the word telegraph into that field there, because I'm extremely lazy and don't wish to type it in every time I visit this page. So that's useful. It can also auto-submit information that you save as a template. It can also be used to automatically log you into forums or whatever i mean it's just it's a very useful feature and you can uh, customize the fields as well if i want to close this down back into a single page i just drag the tab over there to the left close that using a mouse gesture what else do we use well one of the m probably the most frequently used feature that i use in this web in this um, browser is this now i'll just highlight a word there which maybe something someone said in a forum, whatever, and I want to chase it up to see what else I can find out about it on Google. So I'll just highlight it again because the mouse seems to be unresponsible, unresponsive. There you go. Drag it across and boom! Opened in Google. Searched the word electricity and there you go. I mean, I just cannot emphasize enough how useful that feature is. It's just indispensable in my in in my view. Um, something else that I might use for blogging is, uh, although we don't condone this because it's copyrighted images, but where applicable. Yeah, I don't know whether you